Yellow, Jacob Brown, with a Week 11 Minnesota Vikings preview. So, without further ado, let's get into it. The Minnesota Vikings will be hosting the Denver Broncos at U.S. Bank Stadium in Week 11. So, here are some keys and things to look for against the Denver Broncos. Key and point number one for me will be, can our offensive line stop Von Miller? While, yeah, Von Miller isn't having really the greatest year this year, he's still Von frickin' Miller, he's still pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the guy's a first ballot Hall of Fame, there's really not much else to say about it. The guy can single-handedly take over a game. Just ask Cam Newton in the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and their pass rush is, well, eh. While, again, it's not as great as it has been, it's still pretty good. So you still got to keep on your toes. Because, again, if Kirk Cousins gets absolutely mollywhomped, well, <laughs> we all know how that usually ends. And it usually doesn't end well for the Vikings. Just remember Buffalo last year? Yeah. So if we can stop their pass rush at all costs, that would be really nice. And also, continuing on with the offense, will Adam Thielen be in? And if not, who's going to step up to be that receiver? Will it be Diggs? Will it be Ola B.C. Johnson? Will it be Irv Smith? Will it be Kyle Rudolph? Will we use a lot more Dalvin Cook? And how well will Dalvin Cook and Alexander Madison run against the Denver Broncos defense, which again, I mean, their, their defense isn't where it usually is. So, I mean, I feel like you can get some good yards on these guys, and you can get some good plays against these guys, you know. So, I feel if we can just execute on offense, take what the defense gives you, we should be fine, with or without Thielen. Even though it'd be really nice to have Thielen, because, well, our passing offense just really isn't the same without Thielen. Because at least with Thielen being there, you have to really focus on both Diggs and Thielen. So therefore, if one of them gets double covered, usually the other one is running wide open, or at least one-on-one. -on -one. And if you're Kirk Cousins, you kind of like those odds at this point. <laughs> Because <laughs> both of them are perennial 1,000-yard receivers at any given point in the year. So, yeah, that is the offensive keys to the game. <laughs> now to the defensive keys for the game. For the love of God, secondary, wake up, please. <laughs> While we're not facing necessarily the most vaunted passing offense in the world, where is the second? dairy and where has it gone i mean i'm getting sick and tired of getting burnt like you know toast savior Rhodes can't cover anyone mike hughes got absolutely turnstiled last week mackenzie alexander bless his heart was doing you know all he could now Again, I think that had a lot to do with scheme, but still, I the secondary just I, really hasn't looked that good. And there's no reason why we can't have a bounce back game this week because they have their rookie quarterback in, who I <laughs> sorry I don't actually know his name off the top of my head. I don't think it's true could be Drew Locke. I can't exactly remember who, but I know when Flacco went down, he's now on IR for the year. Yeah, so... <laughs> Basically, get after the quarterback, because their offensive line eh, has not looked good in the last few years. Really, since they've won the Super Bowl, that team is really kind of... It just doesn't look the same. However, though, they still have weapons in Cortland Sutton, Noah Fant... And Philip Lindsay. Those are the three key weapons to hone in on. So if we can shut them down 
And if we can have a bounce back game for the secondary, as well as get pass rush on them, I like our chances. <sighs> but yeah, secondary, again, please show up. <laughs> be kind of nice to have a reliable secondary again. And then, of course, special teams is the same. Just kick the ball through the uprights and, you know, field position as needed. Because <laughs> special teams has actually looked pretty good these last few weeks, so. But yeah, those are my keys for the game. Like I say, if we can execute, I have a good feeling we could end up 8-3 and three after this week. Going into the bye week, get everyone healthy again, and then push for that stretch because... Oh, boy. After the bye week, it gets real. I mean, real. Because the next game up is at Seattle on Monday night. And I don't know if you saw Monday Night Football. The Seattle Seahawks just took down the last undefeated team in the NFL. Now, I'll say there was some luck involved there, too, but yeah. So, but with that being said, though, Vikings, don't overlook the Broncos. Do not focus on the... Just keep... Focus on this game. And you guys will be fine. And then let the cards play out where they may after that. So, yeah. Before I babble on too much longer, you guys have a wonderful evening. Skull, and we'll talk to you guys later.